Hello fellow Star Wars action figure fans and collectors, it's Filmmaker Mike and I'm back with another Star Wars The Vintage Collection action figure haul. So right here I've got Wave 5 of the Vintage Collection and there it is and I'm starting of course with uh, one of the first figures that I think would be appropriate to start with of course it is none other than Luke Skywalker uh, and this is Luke Skywalker Death Star Escape and this card just looks amazing it's in the classic Star Wars uh, vintage card with this classic Star Wars wraparound logo which goes around the whole card right there and a great shot of Luke Skywalker also known as Mark Hamill and the Luke action figure looks absolutely great if you see even comes with a comlink a blaster, even uh, his uh, grappling hook that he uses to swing across the the Death Star chasm. Unfortunately, it doesn't look like he comes with a lightsaber. So, that's kind of odd that they didn't include the lightsaber when they should have an unlit lightsaber, but oh well. You can always use one just to add on, hopefully. Um, anyway, this Luke Skywalker action figure looks like it could be the def um, definitely a, a definitive version of... Um, a New Hope Luke and the likeness is pretty much dead on and there you go so that's the first figure that I got from Wave 5 and you should know that uh, this wave right there with all the figures uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 all action all 7 action figures there's actually 2 uh, or almost technically 3 uh, separate waves of uh, movie themes but anyway first one is Luke next one we have Han Solo in Yavin Ceremony gear well, pretty much is a New Hope gear, but he does come with the Yavin Ceremony medallion. And, of course, we got him right there. And this looks like a great Han Solo. comes with his blaster. And, of course, the Yavin Ceremony uh, medallion. And, of course, his ho working holster. This Han looks great. Again, I love the look of the classic Star Wars wraparound logo on the vintage card. It's great to have a Luke and a Han Solo. I kind of wish they would have made the... Han Solo, uh, kind of a close-up shot though, where you can see the medallion and still, you know, get a nice close-up shot just like we have of Luke, but that's just a little thing that I thought could have been made, made a lot better, but anyway. Next one is R5-D4, the droid that could have been 3PO's partner for uh, the original trilogy, but of course, if it weren't for his bad motivator, then we wouldn't have gotten R2-D2, and this is actually my very first R5-D4, and it's, it looks great in the vintage card. The shot there of Luke, R5-D4, and the Jawa, and even R2 a little bit there. So there's R5-D4. Does not come with accessories, but it's great to add, to finally add this droid to my action figure collection. Next is a Stormtrooper, a regular Stormtrooper, which surprisingly comes, and I, and I mentioned uh, two, technically three uh, movies in, uh, in this wave, because it's, it comes in a Star Wars Empire Strikes Back card, which I think they should have just made a Star Wars card, but of course, um, the uh, Sand Trooper is available in the regular classic Star Wars vintage card, so it's kind of weird and odd that they did this, and you would probably be getting a better deal if you purchased the uh, Sand Trooper, because you're just getting more accessories, and if you don't want the accessories for the Sand Trooper, just simply take it off, and you have a regular Storm Trooper, but this Storm Trooper, it should be noted, it comes with a long blaster rifle right there. And I just thought I'd get it anyway because it's a stormtrooper, and always uh, don't mind adding more stormtroopers in my collection to our, uh, our troop build. So we've got also a nice shot there of two stormtroopers. So there you go. And now on to the next um, theme or movie uh, in this way. There's like I said, there's uh, Star Wars. We have Star Wars: A New Hope right here, Empire Strikes Back, and now we have Revenge of the Sith. Starting of course with Yoda. This uh, Yoda figure was actually supposed to be released with, if I'm not mistaken, the uh, Empire wave or the Return of the Jedi wave. Or actually, it might be the Attack of the Clones wave. I'm sorry. I'm having a brain fart. I cannot remember specifically. But anyway, it's nice to see again the Revenge of the Sith logo on the Star Wars Vintage card. We've got a great shot of Yoda there with his lightsaber as he's ready to duke it out with uh, Darth Sidious, also known as Emperor Palpatine. And the Yoda figure right there has some soft goods. Uh, his trusty lightsaber, of course, some force uh, energy, and of course his uh, trademark Gimmer stick. So there's Yoda from Revenge of the Sith. Next figure is uh, Clone Trooper 212th Battalion. Of course, uh, last year, or no, um, in Wave 2 for Revenge of the Sith, we did get Commander Cody. So now you can uh, add Commander Cody's troops in the 212th Battalion. 
So you can definitely troop build these figu these figures to form them and recreate those famous scenes from Revenge of the Sith on the battle on Utapau. And last but not least, we have Commander Gree. And this is actually my second Commander Gree of the same figure. The reason why I bought this, it just looks so cool on the vintage card right there in his trade uh, in his uh, famous shot right before he tries to execute Master Yoda. And uh, of course, Revenge of the Sith card, Commander Gree, comes with a macro binoculars right there on the top and a blaster rifle. And again, love the deco on this figure. The reason why I bought this figure too is because I already have this open, but I thought it'd be nice to review this figure uh, for you guys, the new version, and perhaps compare it and uh, see if there are any differences. So anyway, that's just uh, my quick, or oh, as much as possible, trying to make it a quick action figure haul on Wave 5 of Star Wars The Vintage Collection. And by the way, I did fail to mention that this Luke Skywalker does have a little soft goods um, part there right under his tunic little uh, skirt I guess would be the or a comma not really a comma but kind of a skirt uh, from his tunic is made of soft goods so anyway that's pretty much it I hope you all enjoyed this Star Wars Vintage Collection action figure haul by yours truly filmmaker Mike so and uh, if you wanted to know I did find these figures from my local Walmart thanks by the way to uh, my fellow uh, Star Wars action figure collector Jay also known as Darth Darth Bay J. Um, or Darth J. Bay, I, I can't even remember right now. But anyway, he did uh, shoot me a text message. He's a local collector that lives in the same city I do uh, here in Reno, Nevada, and he alerted me that Walmart, uh, uh, one of the Walmart stores, got this wave, and it's pretty much uh, hitting all my local Walmarts now. So please check your local Walmart if you'd like to find these action figures, Wave Five of the Star Wars: The Vintage Collection, including uh, three figures from Star Wars: A New Hope and three figures from Star Wars: Revenge of the Sith. And of course, one figure from technically Empire Strikes Back, but could count as uh, episodes 4, 5, and 6 because it's just a regular Stormtrooper. Anyway, that's pretty much it. I hope you all enjoyed, again, this quick or Star Wars action figure vintage collection action figure haul. Please friend me on Facebook, fan me on my Facebook page, Filmmaker Mike. Follow me on Twitter. Uh, my email address should be below, and my PlayStation Network ID should be right below if you are curious. And uh, please rate, comment, subscribe, like this video. And uh, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all again soon. May the Force be with you. Bye.